Hi guys, it's me, Miss Rodriguez, and it is time for another story. So last week, or the last time I read you a story, I read you Second Grade Rules Amber Brown. So today I am reading It's Fair Day Amber Brown. And we may have read this earlier in the year, but we've been reading the Amber Brown books in order. So this is the next one. It's Fair Day Amber Brown by Paula Danzinger. I, Amber Brown, wake up and hope that today is going to be a perfect day. Yesterday was not a perfect day. My mom and dad were angry at each other. I, Amber Brown, hate when my parents are mad at each other. I get dressed. I put on all my good luck things to start the perfect vacation day. As I walk downstairs, I make sure that the back of my right shoe touches each step. When it touches each step, I say, perfect day, perfect day. Everyone is already in the kitchen, talking and laughing. My mom and my dad, my best friend Justin Daniels, his parents, and his little brother Danny. We are all staying together in the Poconos. Justin and I call it poke a nose. It looks like it's the beginning of a perfect day. I pick up a box of crunchy munchies, my favorite cereal. It feels empty and I shake it. No sound. It looks, I look inside and it's empty. I look again. Someone has eaten all of my cereal. <laughs> it's like Goldilocks and the three bears, Danny yells. Everybody laughs except for me. What if not having my favorite cereal means that today is not going to be a perfect day? I, Amber Brown, look at the table. Justin's bowl is overflowing with crunchy munchies. And then Justin burps. Justin, his mother says. I cross my eyes at him and I oink. He makes a funny face and I oink again. He makes another funny face. I bet he thinks I'm just gonna forget that he's eaten all of my cereal and maybe ruined my perfect day. Well, he's not just a pig. He's a pig that's in trouble. I wanted to eat some and then make a necklace out of them, I say. Girls, Justin says, and he puts a spoonful of crunchy munchies in his mouth. He reaches over and takes food off of Danny's plate. Why don't you just make a necklace out of toaster waffles instead? Sometimes he just drives me nuts. At home in New Jersey, Justin and I are best friends and we live next door to each other. I am an only child. Here in the Poconos, we are all in the same house and I don't feel like an only child. Justin slurps his milk in his bowl. I make myself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and I ignore Justin. Danny twirls around the room pretending to be a top, so I ignore him too. My dad stands up. I'll go to the store and pick up more crunchy munchies for Amber. Philip, sit down, my mother says. I know what you're up to. You want to go to the grocery store so you can call work. This is your vacation. You need to relax. My dad sits down again and sighs. I sit down and start eating my sandwich. Justin looks at me and crosses his eyes. I cross my eyes back at him and then I look at my parents. My dad looks as if he's trying very hard to stay in his seat and not call the office. My mom looks as if she's trying very hard not to be annoyed at my dad that he wants to go to the office and call on his vacation, but I know that she is. I cross my fingers and I make a wish that my parents don't get into a fight. Then I put my head down on the table and I hear the sound of something scraping across the table towards me. I lift my head and I look. It is the rest of Justin's cereal. Let's share, he says. I'll eat a toaster waffle instead. The bowl is filled with soggy cereal. I, Amber Brown, like to put a little bit of milk on top of it and eat it fast while it's still crispy. My mom passes a bowl back to Justin. That's very nice of you, Justin, but it's not very healthy. It's a good thing my mom doesn't know that sometimes when we're at school, Justin and I share a piece of bubble gum after it's already been in one of our mouths. I smile at Justin slurping milk out of his bowl. He smiles back. Justin's dad says, let's hurry up. We should leave soon for the fair the county fair, rides and games and lots of food. I, Amber Brown, am so excited. Look, Danny, I say, the sign says, welcome to the county fair. 
I can count, Danny says, jumping up and down. One, two, seven, four, eleven. County, I try to explain, not counting. County, county, Danny jumps up and down again. One, two, e, seven, e, four, e, eleven, e. Justin looks at his little brother, Bean Brain. Justin, Mr. Daniel says, no name calling. We go into the fair. Cotton candy, Danny runs over to the booth and we all follow. I'll buy one for each of us, my dad says. That stuff is disgusting, my mom says. My dad buys it anyway. My mom throws her cotton candy into the garbage and suddenly my cotton candy doesn't taste so good. So we go to the barns. The animals are cute, but the barn stinks. Sort of like Danny when he needs a diaper change. Kind of like now. Look at the load that tractor is hauling, my dad says, pointing to a huge machine. Kind of like my brother, Justin says, holding up his nose. Mrs. Daniels picks up Danny and takes him off to change him. Justin and his dad go to ride the roller coaster. I, Amber Brown, do not like roller coasters. My parents and I walk towards a merry-go-round. My parents aren't talking. I, Amber Brown, talk a lot to make up for the quiet. You know, when you're my size, you see lots of kneecaps and rear ends. Amber, my mom laughs, that's not very polite. But it's true, I say. My dad kneels down until he's about my size and he looks around. You're right, Amber. Sarah, take a look, all knees and rears. My mom looks down at both of us and joins us. This is the best time we've had together since our vacation started. They stand up and I am left alone in a world of knees and rears. We go to the merry-go-round. I want us all to sit together on the sleigh. Let's leave that for the little kids, my mom says. My mom and dad get on separate animals. I get on a lion and I pretend to lie down on it. Look, I'm lying on a lion and I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. And we're all animals in a line, my mom says, laughing. The merry-go-round starts and I pretend to be Amber Brown, queen of the jungle. The merry-go-round stops and we all get off. Neither of my parents look at each other and neither is saying anything. Maybe that's better than fighting, but it's definitely not perfect. We're back, Justin says, coming up with the rest of the Daniels family. Hot dogs, Justin says, pointing to a booth. We all get hot dogs. I name mine Rover, but then I can't eat it. My dad eats Rover. I'm never going to name a hot dog again. Then Danny grabs Justin's hand and points. Airplane, we ride. I want to ride with Justin, but sometimes he has to do things with Danny. They get into their plane first. Then I get into a plane behind them with a little girl who doesn't have a partner. Justin turns and yells, boys against girls, it's a race. Sometimes he's really silly. They're in front, they're gonna win. The ride starts and the plane leaves the ground. Faster, faster, the plane tilts to the side. Faster, faster, the plane tilts a little bit more. And the little girl next to me is going vroom, beep beep. The plane starts to slow down. As each one reaches the platform, the kids get off. Justin and Danny get off ahead of us. I just know he's gonna say that he won. I take a look, closer look. Justin does not look very happy, even though he's won. In fact, he looks very unhappy. He has throw up all over him. Danny has throw up coming out of his mouth and all over his clothes. Mrs. Daniels takes one look at them and says, let's go back to the car and get a change of clothes and no more food for either of you. We'll be back soon, Mr. Daniels yells over to my parents. They wave and they nod. My mom and dad look like they're having a big talk. They're not smiling. I walk over to my parents and they don't see me. I, Amber Brown, see and hear them. They have angry voices. I, Amber Brown, hate angry voices, especially for my mom and dad. If they were going to fight, I'm gonna go back to the car with the Daniels. I walk away and they don't see me. I keep walking. I see lots of knees and rears, but I can't remember how to get to the car. I don't see anything that I remember. I am getting scared and this is a very big fair. I'm getting more scared and more upset. I am very lost. I want my mom and dad and I want them now. I start to cry. 
tears are coming down my face and gunk is coming out of my nose. I, Amber Brown, don't even have a tissue. I see a family eating at a picnic table. I go over and I ask them where the cars are. The mom asks if I am lost. I nod and I cry some more. The dad says, wait right here. I'll go and get some help. The mom takes out a tissue and wipes my eyes. She gives me one and I wipe my nose. The dad comes back with the policeman. We'll take you to the lost and found tent, the policeman says. Don't worry, we'll find your family. I thank the family and I wave goodbye. The policeman takes me over to the tent. Will the parents of Amber Brown please come to the lost and found tent by the front entrance, the lady says over a loudspeaker. In a few minutes, my mom and dad rush in. They pick me up and hug me. I'm crying, my mom is crying, and I think my dad is trying not to cry. We were so scared, we all say at once. My mom sniffles. Amber, honey, we thought you were with the Daniels. When they came back without you, we were so worried. We've been looking everywhere for you. You are fighting, I said, so I went to go look for them. My mom and dad look at me and then look at each other and then back at me. They say how they are sorry and they hug me all over again. The Daniels rush over. We hug, except for Justin. He makes a face at me and I make one back at him. And then our families make a plan to meet in an hour. The Daniels go to the farm machines. We go to the game booth. I hold my hands with mom and my dad, and I think about being so happy that it will spread to both of them. Look, my dad says, basketball. I used to be pretty good at this. We walk over to the booth. My father puts money down and picks up the basketball. One ball in, two balls in, three in, and he wins. I jump up and down. For a prize, I pick a big fluffy pencil. My dad plays again, and he wins again. This time he picks a prize, and it's a teddy bear holding a heart. My dad gives it to my mom. They are smiling at each other, and that makes me happy. We play more games. I, Amber Brown, throw coins and win two goldfish. Mom, dad, and I all play the squirt game. Some big boy wins. A little girl cries because she loses. I, Amber Brown, give her one of my goldfish. I am an only child will be who will be happy with an only goldfish. The little girl is so happy and so am I. Today is fair day and it turned in to an almost perfect day. So guys, I hope you enjoyed It's a Fair Day Amber Brown by Paula Danzinger. Next time we'll be starting a new chapter book. I'll see you guys soon. Love you.